Hello and welcome to Finnish with Anna. You'll learn Finnish here in short, palatable lessons with a native speaker. Summer is coming and Finland has many traditions that Finnish learners might find interesting. So in this lesson, we'll learn about summer in Finland, both culture and vocabulary. This is part one of two. In Finland, summer is considered to be about three months, from the beginning of June to the end of August. September is the first fall month. Schools have their summer holiday from the beginning of June to early to mid-August, and this varies from city to city. Finland has a lot of light in the summer, and the days are very long. For example, the sun rises in Helsinki at 3.53 a.m., and sets at 22.52 or 10.52 p.m. on June 25, 2019. And in Lapland, the days are even longer. Here are some Finnish summer essentials. Firstly, fresh berries, vegetables and mushrooms. In Finnish, tuoreet marjat, vihannekset ja sienet. Finland has traditionally had long and cold winters, so fresh berries, vegetables and mushrooms have been heaven sent in the summer. Finnish strawberries are seriously delicious because of the long days, so remember to taste those if you come to Finland or already live here. We don't grow a lot of fruit though, simply because of our climate, but we do get apples and plums later on in the summer. Other essentials are ice cream, Jäätelö, sauna and swimming, sauna ja uiminen, summer cottage or cabin life, kesämökkeily or just mökkeily, amusement parks and festivals, huvipuistot ja festarit. So let's say these in Finnish. Tuoreet marjat, vihannekset. Ja sienet. Jäätelö. Sauna ja uiminen. Kesämökkeily. Huvipuistot. Ja festarit. Good. I will talk of all these in more detail. Let's start with the marketplace. They are very popular and busy in summer. Almost all cities, towns and even villages have a marketplace at the center. You can find fresh berries and vegetables there, and later on in the summer also apples and mushrooms. Here are some things you can find in a Finnish marketplace. Strawberry, strawberries. Mansikka, mansikat. Raspberry, Raspberries, vadelma, vadelmat, green pea, green peas, herne, herneet. Now, the popularity of green peas as a summer snack in Finland is something of an oddity to many foreigners. Indeed, Finns love their fresh green peas and they are sold widely in marketplaces and supermarkets in the summer. They are always sold whole in their pods, and they are often bought together with strawberries. Seeing people snacking on fresh green peas from a plastic bag is a common sight in Finland in summer. Potato, potatoes, peruna, perunat. The first potato harvest comes in June, and these first fresh new potatoes are called uudet perunat, just new potatoes in English and they are often eaten at midsummer. Blueberry, blueberries. Mustikka, mustikat. Blueberries grow wild in forests in Finland and anyone can go and pick them. The so-called garden blueberries, or blueberries that are commercially cultivated, have only become more common in Finland in the past 10 years or so. Wild blueberries are smaller and not as mild as the cultivated ones. Many Finns pick these and freeze them for winter. Mushroom, mushrooms. Sieni, sienet. Mushrooms also grow wild in our forests and they can be picked freely. 
My personal favorites are golden chanterelles roasted with butter and fresh parsley. Lingonberry, lingonberries, puolukka, puolukat. These are small red berries that also grow in our forests, but they are not sweet, they are sour. They are not eaten as is as commonly as other berries. Usually they are made into juice or jam that is often eaten with meatballs and mashed potatoes. Lingonberries are real superfood. They are jam-packed with vitamins. Apple, apples, omena, omenat. These ripen later in the summer, as do lingonberries and mushrooms. So let's say these words. Mansikka. Mansikat. Vadelma. Vadelmat. Herne. Herneet. Peruna. Perunat. Uudet perunat. Mustikka. Mustikat. Sieni. Sienet. Puolukka. Puolukat. Omena, omenat. Great. It's definitely worth it to visit a Finnish marketplace in summer. Berries and peas are usually sold according to volume in liters, litra in Finnish. One liter is about four cups. And here's how you buy them. A liter of strawberries, please. Litra mansikoita, kiitos. A liter of peas, please. Litra herneitä, kiitos. A liter of blueberries, please. Litra mustikoita, kiitos. If you want two liters, kaksi litraa. Three liters, kolme litraa. So let's say this. Litra mansikoita, kiitos. Litra herneitä, kiitos. Litra mustikoita, kiitos. Kaksi litraa. Kolme litraa. Nice. Obviously, it can't all be about healthy stuff in summer. Ice cream is sold in scoops, placed into a wafer in ice cream booths. The Finnish word is pallo, meaning ball, because the scoop of ice cream is molded into a ball shape in the wafer. An ice cream booth is jäätelö kioski in Finnish. And if you want to buy one scoop of, say, vanilla ice cream, you say pallo vanilja, kiitos. Note that the flavor is in the partitiivi case here. A scoop of chocolate and a scoop of strawberry, please. Pallo suklaata ja pallo mansikkaa, kiitos. And here you can see some ice cream flavors that you can find in Finland. The partitiivi form is in parentheses. Pistachio, pistasi pähkinä in the basic form. Pistasi pähkinä in partitiivi. Licorice, lakritsi in the basic form. Lakritsia in partitiivi. Mango melon. Mango meloni, mango melonia, pear, päärynä, päärynä, rum raisin, rommirusina, rommirusina, tiger, tigeri, tigeria, 
This is a popular flavor in Finland. It's vanilla with orange. So let's say these as well. Jäätelökioski. Pallo vaniljaa, kiitos. Pallo suklaata ja pallo mansikkaa, kiitos. Pistaasi pähkinä. Pistaasi pähkinää. Lakritsi. Lakritsia. Mangomeloni. Mangomelonia. Päärynä. Päärynää. Rommirusina. Rommirusinaa. Tiikeri. Tiikeriä. Good. And here you can see a photo from a Finnish marketplace. Over here it says makea pensasmustikka. Pensasmustikka is the cultivated variety of blueberry and makea means sweet. You can also see the price 8 euros per liter. And over here are some black currants musta herukka which cost 450 a liter. And the sign also says käsin kerätty which means hand picked. Over here are some raspberries and cloudberries in little cases. Cloudberries look a bit like raspberries, but they're yellow instead. They grow in the north and are considered a valuable berry. And here you can see the much-loved peas. This is how they are sold here. The measurement cup is probably two liters. It looks too big to be just one liter. You can also see cherries back here. Cherries do grow in Finland, but Finnish cherries tend to be small and sour, so most cherries sold here are imported. Our next topic is summer cottage or cabin life. Many Finns have summer cottages or cabins, in Finnish mökki, in the countryside, usually by a lake or the sea. This can be anything from primitive cottages without electricity or running water to well-equipped houses. Red wooden cottages are very typical, as are log houses. Finns spend a lot of time in their cottages. Many even spend their whole summer there and commute to work from there. However, the younger generations don't necessarily like cottage life as much as the older generations. Young people often want adventure and don't like primitive conditions on their holiday. Also, a summer cottage requires a lot of work, which everyone doesn't like. Here you can see a very typical Finnish red wooden house. In the old days, these were even more common. And here's a photo from Punkaharju in eastern Finland. You can see lots of lake and lots of forest here, very typical of Finland. And lastly, a few words about forests, metsä in Finnish. Finns have a special relationship with forests because Finland is such a forested country. You don't have to go far anywhere in Finland to find a forest. Finland also has freedom to roam, called jokamiehenoikeus in Finnish. It means that anyone can go and enjoy a forest and also pick wild berries and mushrooms there. Jokamiehenoikeus doesn't grant you the right to fish and hunt freely though. Also, avoid areas marked yksityinen or yksityisalue. These mean that the area is private. Finland has a so-called culture of silence. It means that Finns are comfortable being silent, both alone and with others, and Finns in general appreciate silence. 
This may be hard for people who come from very social and talkative cultures. So if a Finn is quiet, it doesn't mean they are mad or sad, it's just our way. The forest is a great place to experience silence. You can only hear birds and the wind humming in the treetops. It's relaxing and gives you strength. This is why I claim that the Finnish culture of silence culminates in a forest. The forest is a deeply Finnish experience. Finns have lived off of the forests for centuries. So if you have the chance, do visit a Finnish forest for a hike or just a casual walk. And here is a picture of a Finnish forest. So lovely. So that was it for part one. Part two is coming soon. Thanks so much for watching. Kiitos kun katsoit. If you enjoy my videos, please consider subscribing to my channel. Nähdään ensi kerralla. See you next time. Moikka!